How are you doing everybody? I'm Kit Kiarie and this is Esme. Welcome back to another video. Thank you. In this episode we are talking about strange things about the that we don't strange things mm -hmm. that we have noticed about the UK because Esme lives here, I don't, I only visit. Mm -hmm. And they're just these peculiar things that when I bring them up, somebody who lives here is like Oh yeah, <laughs> but because you come home so often, yeah, you get, it. get it. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying. You understand what I'm saying. And sometimes I bring it up to my family as well, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes." My family who lives here. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. If you do, please like, please subscribe, and follow us on Spotify. You know, you can listen to our podcast on Spotify. Oh, mm -hmm. that's brilliant! Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. talk about because I've said this before and the last time I said it somebody was like no but it, that's a good thing the fact that you cannot go anywhere not swimming mm -hmm. not to the beach not to a restaurant not anywhere without calling and scheduling ahead <laughs> <sighs> not even the yeah. movie yeah you can't walk to the movie theater and buy a ticket okay no some places you can okay some cinemas but uh -huh. yeah swimming and the rest of the activities you have to book in advance um which yeah you have to be really organized to survive here either that or that's, you just stay home i mean that being organized is one thing but not being able to be like let's go out on a date let's go to that nice yeah. nice restaurant we go we like we go there Ask, do you have a table? Yeah, we actually have some tables. Yeah. You sit down and eat. For the really popular ones, you have to book in advance. You have to. Even for the beach, actually. Remember last time you were here, we had I, to pay for parking. For, for, me, book parking. The, for me, I was like... Mm? <laughs> we called to go to the beach. The beach <laughs> is free. Booking. The beach is free. But to park, you need to call and book a parking and pay for and the parking. For You're it. paying for the parking, fine, we pay for parking everywhere. Mm. But you must call. And then when we were driving there, like a distance of 10 kilometers, mm. it was like parking full at the beach. Yeah. Like, don't come. I know you're heading to the Sana. beach right now, don't come. <laughs> it's yeah. That's 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 a life here, and and you have to get with the program or just figure out another plan for the day. <laughs> I asked my brother-in-law. I really wanted, like my co-wife. I really want to have a Sunday roast mm -hmm. because I've never had one. Mm -hmm. I'm always just hearing about them, and I'm like, I want to try. And she's like, Oh yeah, we can go on Sunday. Let me look for a place where we can go. Mm -hmm. So we're like, Oh yeah, we can go to this place. Let me book. Book. Yeah. Book. And the inverse in Nairobi, there's some restaurants you can't book on Sundays because they get so full oh, yeah. that they only take walk-ins. Yeah. So maybe they should do that on Sundays. Here? No, in Nairobi. Oh, perhaps. They should take bookings. Perhaps. But do Kenyans keep time? Because that will be you're, you're shouting. We're not even <laughs> two minutes in the video. You're already yelling at us. That is that is the challenge. And like here, where you have to, you must. You have you have to, or your table will be taken. And when we booked for the beach, was it a time? It was. It was a time period from. I think it was from four. We only got a booking from four. We and and it was a four, a four hour period. Yeah. I think I remember four hours. Yes. 
So go quickly, enjoy, get out. <laughs> you know the way you go to the beach and spend the whole day, not here. Okay. You can if you book. No! <laughs> you can. <laughs> okay. So when you are buying an item from a clothes shop, mm -hmm. they pack the hangers. Yes. Oh, they don't do that in Nairobi. <laughs> Yeah. They literally remove all the hangers yeah. in Nairobi and yeah. put them in the... Because they're going to reuse them. Yeah. Why are they giving you the hanger? <laughs> they pack it so nicely like this, hanger in. I was like, bro. Yeah. But we need the hangers. All the gloves. We don't need them. We do. I do. <laughs> Why do you... First of all, <laughs> me personally, all my hangers look the same. Oh. So okay, I can't do that. A hanger from Primark, people. hanger from Zara, hanger mm. from this. That I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Why? Why are they giving us hangers? Because that seems them. wasteful. It's possibly it's because people get rid of a lot of the stuff. Maybe they should be asking, but some people do. Some people some say ask. don't. I had someone the other day say don't pack the hangers. hangers. Mm. So they were removing the hangers. Yeah. Tell us like hangers, and we need them. I keep saying that. Why aren't you buying hangers? <laughs> Why should I buy hangers and I can get them for free? Because for the, so that they match. And yeah. I spend the money on clothes, no? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Number three. Not being, and this I feel might trigger a few people. Not being able to leave the house. It doesn't matter if you're going to drop your kid off at school mm. or... Um, uh, pop by like work whatever it is you're not able to leave the house without passing by the supermarket mm. to buy one thing really yeah there's always something m like missing in the house in the house milk bread something mm. And I've stayed at many people's. And you do that a lot. Yeah, Actually, everybody yesterday. does. You did that yesterday. Everybody does that. Oh my gosh. I everybody does that. That's does that something. not happen in Nairobi? No. 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 Guys, comment down below. When you no. leave the house, must you stop by the supermarket? Must you pass and buy something from the supermarket? Something small. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay, must but you, you see, in fairness, here, you're walking past the shop. So the temptation to go in is right... Like you're walking more yes. than you're, you're yes, driving around you're driving, as opposed yes. to Nairobi where you, you have drive to drive into a to. mall. So maybe just accessibility makes it that more, much more tempting. Gosh, I never realized that. Oh, maybe. So maybe it is accessibility. Yeah, I mean, you're literally walking past the shop. You're walking past. Yeah, so you remember, oh, I need this, oh, I need that. Gosh, we spend more here then. No, it's slightly cheaper Absol than absolutely. 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 It's always pop by the shop, get a mm. packet of bread, get some milk, get cookies, something. But don't we dash to the kiosk in Nairobi? Yeah, Those but we. I feel like we do a lot more wholesale shopping in Nairobi. Mm. Like we'll do a monthly shop rather than a weekly, weekly shop. Yeah, but also stuff doesn't stay here. Yeah. Stuff doesn't keep in the fridge and mm. stuff as much. And as which is there. which is odd because the banana, <laughs> the banana, <laughs> the banana. There was a banana open and it did not go raw. It did not go bad mm. for two days. So yeah. why is the stuff going off in the fridge? Like off, like it goes bad in the fridge. Yeah. Well, you can't tell. That's an unfortunate thing. Mm -hmm. You know, unlike in Nairobi where you can smell something has gone off. Yes. Here it's very hard to pick that smell. Much like it's very hard to pick the taste. <laughs> it's very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Very hard. But that's how it is when things go off. You, you don't really... So I try and go by the dates as much as possible um, with stuff in the fridge because you can't really, unless it has mold, which is, yeah. I don't know if it would have mold, um, but yeah. it, you can't tell when stuff goes off. It's very hard to tell. So how do you know it's gone off? Just the date? The date. And you know like when you bought it and stuff, so you can't keep it for long. Yeah, and stuff gets soft. But they do, it doesn't have a smell. <laughs> which sounds very weird, but it's true. <laughs> And that's, that might bring us to the next point of your poop 
is not going to s smell. <laughs> Here. Yeah. No. It has a smell. But a very far away. Not like intense where you're not embarrassed. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for somebody who has who has not experienced it, it's it sounds ridiculous even saying that. But there's a way that poop is not as strong, the smell. <sighs> I will even go as far as say there's no smell. Was that even the case in my house when I use a lot where I use a lot of spice? Was it the same? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? It's the same. Gosh. It's that. the same. So you saying that the food is like you can't tell it's gone bad because mm. it doesn't have a smell. Mm. They must be doing something to the food. And Martin was saying, was speculating maybe it's because the houses are small. And you would literally, you can't have mm. poop just wafting through the walls because the houses are quite small. Well, they have the extractors in the bathrooms, but mm. Maybe, mm. maybe that helps. Maybe. I don't know. Guys, it's, it's weird. But I want you people to comment because I know I have guys watching from the UK. Just comment. Am I right about this? Because it can't only be me. It can't only be me who knows that as me. The poop. Yeah. Maybe the insulation of the doors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't no. know. There's something <laughs> wrong. There's something wrong. Okay. Let's get going. Um, drinking water from the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, we used to drink water from the top in Nairobi. Okay. We never did. I used to drink water from the um, fountain. Mm, in in school or in school? In school, okay. Yeah. yeah. In school, by the way, we did. Yes, we did. Um, but here, no. So for Miguel, when we first arrived, <laughs> Miguel is my son, and <laughs> so he observed Bella and I for a week before he began drinking water from the tap because Chris had some bottles Bottle of water, water, so he was drinking that as he just sips and drinks water. Yes, I'm waiting drinking. for you to die, and then we'll become. <laughs> So after we survived, he began drinking water from yeah, the tap. And yeah, yeah it's, it's, very, it's very odd for us. It's very odd. It's mm -hmm. very awkward. Mm -hmm. The water tastes different. Yeah. Um, there was, I, I think it was a YouTuber who said, he travels a lot and he said Kenya has one of the best tasting water. water. Like tap water. Yeah. He drinks I tap agree. water. I mean, very many people drink tap water in Nairobi mm -hmm. and they, they're not dying. Yeah. Yeah. But um, that's just the norm here. You just fill your bottle of water from the tap I, f I still find it very strange <laughs> i'm waiting to suffer from cholera no 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 you typhoid won't. something <laughs> but everybody's doing it so but it's weird yeah you have to you have to admit it's awkward yeah it's awkward to do it it's odd to do it but we did we yeah lived. yeah talk about the smile <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> First of all, do it. It's a smile showing no teeth. Yeah. If you have dimples, the dimples show. And I've seen it, by the way, in Nairobi. Nairobi? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Who? Who does it in Nairobi? You know the people who do it. in Nairobi so they imported it there. yeah they imported it okay. they imported it yeah but you don't always get it especially from those who don't you know understand why you're in their country yes um, but it's yeah it's it's like their automatic thing and it's yeah. become ours by default so now you smile at people yeah <laughs> so the smile is a smile you get from strangers as they're not greeting you or anything it's just acknowledging your presence yes. sort of and it's it's a very I, I don't even have the word for it it's just there's no place for it why are you smiling at me on the bus we are all here in the bus <laughs> why, oh. you're a stranger know. i'm a yeah. stranger like it's just our, but they do it among our, themselves as well yeah it's just maybe it's a polite it's polite to do 
Maybe. I suppose. Maybe. Us, we wouldn't, like in Nairobi, would not smile at each other. Mm. If we caught each other's eye, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it'd be just like, yeah, I acknowledge your presence, you're a person. But it seems so rampant, not rampant, because that means, <laughs> but that, for lack of a better word, yeah. rampant. Yeah. And in Nairobi, I get it a lot from uh, um, Caucasians. <laughs> Smiling. Yeah. And you know, the blacks, it's the nod. That's what we do. Mm. Okay, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> You're over there, I'm here. And not all of them yeah. as well. Yeah. Some don't want to look you in the eye. Some will just, you know, don't acknowledge your presence at all. It's a very weird dynamic here. Mm-hmm. Very weird, yeah. Some people will stop and say hello. Some will just walk on by. It's very interesting. But yeah, more often than not, it's mm-hmm. the nod. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, hey. Uh, then yesterday you started to tell me about potlucks. Yeah. So, yeah. so I don't. Do you guys know what a potluck is? It's where you have a party and everybody comes with something to share. Yeah. Yeah. So I went for a book club once, and um, so we all took a dish. Yeah. So of course the dishes are put on a table and we all share. Yeah. Then after the meeting, we all left with the dishes that we brought, with the food still in them. There was no one offering. You know, why don't you keep some? Why don't you do this? It's you leave with the food that you brought. You leave with it. So I left with it. Of course, my son was very happy because it was a dessert he loves. But I found that very awkward because, of course, in Nairobi, it would be the, know, host. the sharing or yeah. you leave it with the host and yeah. you decide what, what, what they want to, to do with it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's a culture here, um, which was very interesting. And what's that about? It's just what, like cleaning, cleaning up your stuff or? I don't Is it know. a cleaning thing or a... I don't know, and it could maybe also just consider it to okay, you've cooked and you brought the food, so you have nothing at home, or just mm. live with what you came with. I don't know. I don't know. And then the birthday party thing. <laughs> <laughs> so here These we are keep very time. different. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for birthday parties here, you know, in, back in Nairobi, yeah. you have a party from you'll tell you have come from two, yeah, and people will come at four, yeah, or five oh, if oh. you're lucky. They're right. So here, if the party is from two, first yes. of all, it's from two to four. Do yeah. not arrive at two. You arrive one fifty between one fifty and two o'clock, because if you arrive at two uh. or any time past two, mm. the party has literally begun. And there are things, especially for kids' parties, mm. there are things that the kids will be doing that your child will miss. And it happened once with Bella. Yeah. Oh, my well, just explain. Just explain. So the party starts on time. Yeah. Okay. So two. So two, it what am I at even like one fifty-five. You arrive early, the kid goes in. You arrive early. Yeah. Oh, you, you're not invited time. to the party? More often than not, no. <laughs> and if you are, there's no food for you. It's huh? a kid's party. Kids, children. So they'll be Yeah, but children, children have chaperones. Yeah, but more often than not, you drop the child. You're not invited. It's not you and your child. Your child is invited. Yes, it's I like, get it's your child invited, mm-hmm. but you go to chaperone them. Who's going to take care of them? They're taken care of by the parents who've invited them. You don't have to stay, it's optional. But how, you're many, not how, many children, how many children are at this party? 20, 30. But and the parents are taking care of all of us. Yeah, they have a jumping castle, they have snacks. No, often them, that's what happens. It's a jumping castle, mm. snacks, and you're done. And you better pick that shell of yours at exactly 3.55 before mm. the party is done. And what's done. happening? <laughs> done. Okay, in the end, people are leaving to go somewhere else. Yes, people are very, very it's so interesting. Over the weekends, people really have a tight... Like it's a schedule. <laughs> it's a regimented. Days. Yes. So there's swimming. There's there's a lot of stuff going on. So after so the party, you're going swimming. So please get out of my house. Yeah. Or no. You mean the, the people who are also yeah, the party? Yeah, the No. The time is two to four. And more often than not, you'll have it in institutions. Yeah. So like a gym has a, right. A, 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 you know. A space yeah, yeah. So it's, it's somebody stuff. else's party. Yeah. So it's it's in and out. Go, <laughs> go. Take your children. Go. So yeah, you don't. Right. I'm never late for those things now. I try <laughs> you not to be. I learned, especially you know when your child tells you, "No, Mama, they already started playing." What I'm like, "Oi, you missed a game," because I was ten minutes late. So you have to be on time, on time. Party starts at two. Be there at one fifty-five, latest. Yeah, and then come and pick up your child. Yep. Or you All wait, time. or you wait for them, or you wait for them. You hang around. Some people sit in the car because if you in, you go in and you've not been invited, there will not be food for you. By the way, you'll be lucky if you get a drink. But the kids have their own little menu; they're sorted. 
So when we hosted ours, of course we don't follow the same thing and we no, don't follow timing either. Obviously. People were so surprised, like, oh my gosh, you've done so much. And it was just like a cheese board and some wings. I'm like, eh. this is, by the way, not Kenyan standards. I've done very little by Kenyan standards. But, okay, first of all, where's the pilau? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where's the chapati? All of that. Exactly. So, I mean, whenever we host a party, we tell people, I mean, it's it's 2 to 4, but you can't stay until 7 or 8. Like, <laughs> what, what, depending. And people did that the last time. So it's also just introducing people to other cultures. Yeah, other cultures, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't have to. <laughs> just come and be the culture that is here you yeah. can be different yeah. okay yeah the packing up your own shopping in the supermarket is a lot it's a lot first of all I feel like the pumping your own fuel <laughs> you know I didn't do it for a very long time like I who, who I had to do it? it it's Miguel and Chris like the other ones were doing it for me do I, it's know? almost like I refuse to believe I have to do it <laughs> on my own so I never wanted to do it it's a bit much yeah. It's much like you get there, you stop at the thing, you get the thing out, you put fuel how you want, and then you leave your car there and go inside that. Okay. Uh, Nini, what's that? What's it called? The total <laughs> the shop. The total oh, shop. What's it called? The convenience store. That one. You have to go <laughs> inside and pay for the fuel at your pump at the cashier. You know, we keep asking Can't you each other whether that will work in Kenya. <laughs> you see, this is why it would never work in Kenya. We always ask ourselves that whenever we did, like, would this work? Would this work in but Kenya? But there's probably, like, just cameras everywhere. Yeah. And everybody knows where, like, the system knows where you live, and yeah. all of that. It's all connected, of course. You can be checked down. But, I mean, it's just, it's, it's sometimes it's wonderful to see how people just follow, like, just do what, do the right do thing. The <laughs> people do the right thing here. Yeah. Even with like zebra crossing, yeah. you're not. No, I mean the policing system is very, it's very brilliant. Yeah. Um, good. So you will something will there's a consequence for yeah. not following road rules. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> in Kenya, the, the policing system has broken down. Like you yeah. have to have an actual person there, otherwise the camera is not going to track you. Down. But even when there's no camera, like you see our roads, most of the time, the, it's yeah, because very you've narrow, learned right? over years. No, no, no. Huh? The 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 what's the word to use? There's People, what's the word to use? They're mm. polite. They're mm. courteous. They're courteous. Yeah. So things even like on our streets where yeah. there are no cameras, yeah. and you need to give someone. Way. You'll give someone. someone you'll wait. Yeah, yeah. You know, and give someone way, and like, <laughs> like us, we just don't. We just, don't. Don't, we just couldn't care less. You know, we, we it, less. it took so much time for us to get used to crossing zebra crossings. Yeah. yeah. Like we would naturally stop. Stop. But here, the cars, cars naturally the cars stop. The naturally minute you just stop. stand there. In fact, if you're walking by, you'll see a car start to yeah. slow down because yeah. are you about to turn yeah. onto the road? <laughs> I'm just like, no, girl, I'm just walking. I'm just walking. You know what I was doing my driving classes? There was this, that there was my, 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 my trainers, right? Mm -hmm. So, not my trainer, my instructor. Yeah. And there was a there was a van coming, mm -hmm. and he was coming at really high speed, and I was on this side, and mm -hmm. he looked like he was going to turn. So I like I can't I got brakes. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, hey, yeah. yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Do I'm like that guy. Like he looked, looked like, like he was like, no, trust the system. The system works. I'm like my friend. My friend, where I'm from. <laughs> This guy would have been dead with me. Where I am from. So it was so funny trying to explain it to him. Like he just he couldn't understand why I braked. I'm like, okay. You're like, yeah. you need to come and drive in Kenya. You see how you will be <laughs> literally yeah. in in the first day of driving he'll be in a fender bender immediately. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we have one more. When you go to the coffee shop, Java, whatever, they always give you lukewarm coffee yeah that here yeah, the costas and all it's 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 sad the starbucks as well i mean it's not sad at least you don't burn your lips but no but you want hot coffee yeah. then you let it cool yeah you don't want it to start yeah. at cool and then it becomes goes down cool. yeah it's 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 strange considering it's always cold here always yeah <laughs> you'd think that the drinks would be hot it would be hot I don't know whether it's a safety issue or I don't know. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's disappointing. And more often than not, I ask them to like make it extra hot. And even that extra hot is never really hot. Piping hot. Never. Yeah. I think that there's just a lot of, yeah, you don't want to be sued. There's yeah. just a lot of that happening. Yeah. Where a grown adult cannot know that coffee <laughs> from the thing is hot. It's just... I don't know. I think maybe that's where the system has really failed people. <laughs> like, allow people to think for themselves and get burnt and just move on from there. 
But I miss that. I miss the hot dowers. I miss the hot tea. Yeah. Yeah. Now you Eat have it. to bring it home and, home and put it in the microwave. Yeah, I just make your own hot tea. <sighs> okay, and then there was the other thing. Wait, what was the other thing? What was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack your bags in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pack your bags in the supermarket. <sighs> you know, when I came home and I went to, to quick match. Let me tell you, I felt like a queen. A queen. The guy came, he took my trolley, he offloaded for me. Mm -hmm. So first there's a guy who comes, he's like, oh no, no, don't put your tissue here, mm -hmm. put it underneath. Mm -hmm. And then he noticed I was going to the till, so he comes, he takes the trolley, he offloads he the stuff He offloads for, for it, yeah. He and packs the things it. for me. <laughs> and then he also put them in the car. That doesn't happen here. No. You pack your damn self. First of all, you offload from the trolley, mm -hmm. and then you somehow so you're offloading from the trolley, and but you are also somehow packing. <laughs> so you're -da -da, then you go on this side, you pack, 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 then come back, -da -da, it, yeah. And it's so yeah. it's like a high pressure activity. It's, by the way. it's hard when wow. you go alone. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. At least when you have someone, you one person can offload yeah. and one person can unpack, like pack the stuff. But it's a yeah. lot of work. And then you carry it to the car, you return the trolley first of all you buy the trolley okay it's not like you buy it but you have to put money in the for you pound, yeah. to remove the trolley and then when you put it back you get your money but i don't know is it because people carry the take the trolley away i think because they leave it all over the place so they want people to be organized so you go and put it back where with the rest you have to so put that you the take your money. Get your money back yeah so it's it's less work for them i suppose labor is expensive in this country you know oh yeah because as we leave trolleys everywhere by the way everywhere i found trolleys for me i return the trolley to the it's called a, a trolley park mm. but i have found trolleys in front of my car yeah so that's why they do it i we should start that in nairobi we should start it so that people can return their trolleys where they're supposed mm. to be yeah yeah anyway so that's it those, those are some of the strange things do you have something to add <sighs> no i just miss home a lot of the time <laughs> Because we live like kings and queens in Nairobi and yeah. we don't we don't realize it until we leave the country yeah. and experience other places that always seem to be greener on the other side, you know, but it always <laughs> seems oh the sun is shining so pretty, everything is so nice and clean. No, no. There's a lot of work involved. Yeah. Um and the, for me I feel like the overwhelming feeling is just one of not being welcome. Yeah. Like yes, you're here. And when are you going back? Yeah, I mean it's not it's not home. It's it's not home. But um, there are many beautiful things about the the country as well because I don't want to be deported. No, <laughs> there are amazing things about the country. Um, but yeah, there's no place like home. Yeah, there's no place like home. Yeah. Anyway, um, this was just a fun little video. I hope you have gotten some insight into some of the things that happen here. Things that maybe people don't talk about because they don't even notice that it's happening. Yeah, <laughs> fun stuff. Please comment down below as well some of the things that you have noticed in the places that you guys live because I know mm -hmm. people watch from all over. Um, I like to travel that way by reading people's experiences about other places. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, guys. Till next time. Give me a